Hey guys, how's it going? I am D.B. Woodside and I play Amanda Deal on Netflix's Lucifer. Hi, I'm Amy Garcia and I play Ella Lopez. Hi, I'm Rachel Harris and I play Dr. Lyndon Martin. I am Liz Ann Brunt and I play Mazikeen. I am Kevin Alejandro and I play Detective Dan Espinoza, aka Detective Douche. Today we're going to be taking a BuzzFeed quiz to find out which Lucifer character we actually are in our real lives. <laughs> Here's the first question. In the spirit of Lucifer, pick one of the seven deadly sins. Okay. Lust, envy, sloth, greed, pride, wrath, gluttony, or to be honest, none of these. I think my pride gets in the way a lot of time. Well, if it's food related, for sure, gluttony. Mm -hmm. Mine is gonna be lust. Let's move on to the next question. I don't wanna talk about it. <laughs> I am very much like Maze. That being said, what would you pick? Wrath. <laughs> wrath, I knew it. To be honest, I think I'm gonna have to choose wrath as well. Um, but you're silent wrath. I'm not, exactly, that's what I'm gonna say. Like, I'm silent and I let things sort of, you know, play their course. And then if it's something that I, that I feel that I have to stand up for, then beware the wrath of Alejandro. Choose something with devil in the name. Devil's Food Cake, The Devil Wears Prada, Devil in the White City by Eric Larson, or The Devil Went Down to Georgia, Devil Eggs, or Devil in a Blue Dress. I'm going with Devil Wears Prada because I love Prada. <laughs> and that makes total sense. And I love shoes, you're in my closet. You guys, I have Prada right here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, Leslie Ann, I'm gonna give this one to you. What do you think I'm gonna choose? I feel like Devil's Food Cake. <laughs> No, you really? don't know me. I'm going to choose, and I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to choose The Devil Went Down to Georgia because that's the only song I know how to sing karaoke. Ah! <laughs> Definitely Devil Day. <laughs> no, I got food on the mind at all times. You wouldn't pick Devil's Food Cake? You know what, Rach? That's it. I'm going to change my answer. You have an excellent point. I have a total sweet tooth. Yeah. Devil's Food Cake. So I think I'm gonna go with Devil in a Blue Dress, honestly. I'm gonna have to go with uh, my man Denzel and uh, Don Cheadle. Devil in a Blue Dress. Pick something to watch that features twins. Sister, sister, parent trap, I know this much is true. The social network, adaptation, or it takes two. Okay, well for me, this is such an obvious pick for me. I played a fifth year senior one season on Sister Sister. For me, it's a no brainer. What do you think it is? What do you guys think it is if you had to get it? Yeah. Parent Trap. <laughs> Yeah. There's Adaptation, which is a fantastic movie. I'm gonna have to go with Adaptation. I think because of the joke uh, with Leslie and Danny, sister, sister. I also love that show. Growing up, I did watch Tia and Tamara. I think I'm gonna go with The Parent Trap because I freaking love that movie. How would you cope after a rough day? Confide in your friend or partner. Would you just sweat it out at the gym? Would you have a drink? Take a bath, distract yourself with work, or just run away. I would say sweat it out. I'll say sweat it out. Sweat it out, a good one. I'm gonna have to go with confide in my partner. I'm gonna let you guys guess which one I would do. I would guess sweat it out of the gym. What do you there think? There you go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, so which one do you think I would do? I think she would take a bath. Get in the bathtub and just soak and just really take your time in there and do a little self-care, self-love. With a drink <laughs> in your hand. That sounds amazing. Honestly, it's confide in, um, in a friend. Oh, wow, okay. How would I cope after a rough day? I think you would distract yourself with work. You would come home and start creating, writing, just just to get your mind off of whatever craziness was in your day. You're right. I'll just throw myself into writing and, you know, creating. In honor of this upcoming musical episode, choose a famous musical. Mamma Mia, Wicked, Hamilton, The Lion King, Cats, or The Book of Mormon. I have to go with Hamilton. I'm gonna jump on the same train as Rachel, and that would be Hamilton. I was not able to ever see Hamilton on stage. So the first time I saw it on uh, Disney Plus, I was blown the f away. That musical is so good. Everyone in there is unbelievable. It just left such a mark on me. I'm ready to get on stage and like, Rap, man. I mean, like, <laughs> let's do this. Well, I've never seen it. I will watch it. So I can't pick it because I haven't seen it. 
For me, it's a no-brainer, Lion King. Hamiltoni, come on. <laughs> come on. I'm gonna have to go with Wicked. Oh, I haven't I, seen Wicked. I, okay, oh man. I Don't get me wrong, Hamilton's amazing. But Wicked, I am a huge fan of The Wizard of Oz and any sort of adaptation that we can get of that story and those characters, I'm in 100%. Which character would you trust the most with a secret? Dan, Eve, Amenadale, Ella, Linda, Maze. Definitely not Maze. <laughs> it would have to be between Dr. Linda, because she's a therapist, and that's all she does is listen to secrets, and a Minadeal, because he's like God's favorite. I'm gonna go with a Minadeal. I would probably say a Minadeal too. Linda. Linda, yeah. Can I pick myself? But I also would pick a Minadeal. A Minadeal, if you told him a secret that he somehow felt morally compromising. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Yeah. That he would he would blab. Yeah. Okay, so um so let's all just pick Linda. I'm excited. Yeah, Linda. Pick another crime solving show. We have Monk, Veronica Mars, True Detective, Luther, Psych, or Murder She Wrote. I'm gonna jump right there because this okay. one is real easy for me. I'm gonna say Luther, because <laughs> Idris is the man, and that is one of my favorite shows. I think it just has to be Veronica Mars. You know, I think she was just like super smart. I just like that she was like young and smart. I'm gonna go with Monk because I love Tony Shalhoub, and I just think he was brilliant in that, and I liked how quirky he was and weird. I gotta go hands down, True Detective. Same. That first season, whoa. Finally, what is your deepest desire? To be rich, to be famous, to be loved, to be beautiful, to change the world, to be powerful. To change the world. Changing the world. Mine is to change the world. I think we all can agree. Amy, what's your, what is yours? To change the world. <laughs> <laughs> I got me. I got a mana deal. I got a mana deal. I got Lucifer. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I got Maze. You got Maze. <laughs> I, got, I got Linda. You are confident, fun, and abashedly yourself. You're also a loyal friend who puts others' needs before your own. I agree with that 100%. I got Linda because I'm quiet. Uh, you're extremely caring, and you just want everyone you love to be happy. I'm gonna have to agree with that. I think this is a pretty accurate BuzzFeed challenge. You got a meta deal. You're an honest person who always strives to do the right thing. You're driven loyal and would do anything for your family. This is true. You got Lucifer. You love the finer things in life and are all about having a good time, enjoying every moment and indulging yourself. Whoever wrote this is really good. 